Okay, so we'll begin answering this question by first finding the energy at the I. So this will be our E sub 1. In order to find that, we're given this intensity value, and the intensity is simply a watt or a power per square meter. And we were told that it's 4.0 times 10 to the negative 11th watts per meter squared. So this will be our intensity value right here. Now the area occurs at the pupil of the eye, and the pupil, the simple geometric shape of that is just a circle, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. This t right here is simply the time, and we're measuring this, we're measuring the energy in one second. So we'll go ahead and plug in the values here. Make sure that you don't use this number here. This is the diameter of the pupil. We need to find the radius of the pupil. So you would first convert this to standard units of meters, and you would divide that by 2, so that you get 0 0.00425 as the radius of the pupil. And don't forget to square that value. This will give us an energy of 2.27 times 10 to the negative 15th joules. Next, we'll find the energy of the photon and recall that to find the energy of the photon we use Planck's constant and we multiply by the frequency but the frequency can also be rewritten as the speed of light divided by the wavelength we'll go ahead and plug in our values Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34th joules seconds. The speed of light in a vacuum is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And we were given that the wavelength is 500 nanometers. We just simply convert that to standard units of meters. This will give us an energy of 3.98 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Now the question is asking how many photons per second enter the eye. Now in order to do that, we're going to take the two energies and we're going to find the ratio between the two of them. So we'll take the first energy and we'll divide that by the second energy, and this will give us an answer of 5,706 photons per second. 